Hello, this is my 28 week video log. Um, this is the first time I updated on time, so yay for me. I mean, 29 weeks. Why did I say 28? Anyway, pregnancy burn. I'm already almost there, one week from 10 weeks. Exciting! Okay, so let's see what's happening. Right now, um, my main things are as far as symptoms I'm always out of breath even right now I'm talking to you and I can't breathe so I'm always out of breath and I'm always hungry like I can eat in the morning I guess I eat around 9 and by 11:30, I'm not just hungry I'm starving my stomach is growling it's ridiculous um I think I have my first Braxton Hits contraction People told me that they didn't hurt that bad. Yeah, mine hurt a lot. <laughs> so, I don't know about those other people, but mine was pretty painful. Um, other than that, I think I'm just regular. <gasps> I have to tell you about this awesome stuff I found. Let me get it. This is my lifesaver for itchy bellies. I don't know if you can see it, but it's for a dry, itchy skin. And it has vitamin E, and it's by... Um, Palmer's. So when you get out the tub, when your belly's still damp, you spray this on. It's really, really greasy, but it feels so good. It soothes the belly. It's like um, soothing oil. <sighs> so if you have really itchy bellies, like me, I'm advertising for Palmer's soothing oil. Go get it. It was like eight bucks. I got it for my birthday, which was Friday, last Friday. Happy birthday to me. But yeah, this is awesome. Go get this. If you have an itchy belly. Um, what else is happening? Doo -doo -doo. I don't know. It's not a lot happening this week. My cravings have been grapefruit. I really like grapefruit this week. I also got some kiwis. I haven't had them yet though. But when I was little we used to eat a lot of kiwis. So maybe I'll eat the kiwis and see if I like them. Um, the baby's moving a lot. All the time. Kicking. He rolls now. Like he rolls his um, body or his elbow and deforms my belly. It's kind of funny. So that happens. Ooh! And let's see what else. My little brother's here. That's what you just heard in the background screaming. You want to give a guest appearance, Zane? <laughs> this is Zane. Say hi. Hi. Okay, go away now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, I finally got and I went to the hospital to take my Romagam test for my A negative blood so it doesn't hurt the baby. So it took them almost two and a half to three hours to get it done. I like I had to go there and get registered like I was a patient. Then they had to draw my blood, so they took a whole tube of blood. They sent it up to the lab and I was supposed to wait an hour and then go up to the lab. So I waited an hour, I went up to the lab and they weren't ready. So they told me to wait 30 more minutes. So I went and ate um, lunch at the cafeteria. Nasty food. Gross. Don't go there. Anyway, then I went back up to the lab and it was finally ready. But I had to take it on the labor and delivery floor. Which was cool because it, got me a, it gave me a chance to see what it looked like. So I go up there and they give me like a mini tour. And I actually really liked it. It was really nice. Which was good because um, my doctor switched hospitals. So this was the hospital that I went to was the hospital that I would deliver at. So when I got there, it was really nice. The nurses were nice. And um, they gave me the shot. She tried to give me the shot in my butt, but I was like, nope, just stick it in my arm. So she gave it to me in my arm. Um, and that was it, and I left. But it took three hours just to get there. Um, so that's done. When I go back to the doctor, I have my glucose test on this coming Tuesday. To see if I have just personal diabetes. But I don't think I do. Uh, what else is happening? Oh yeah. So I have to start looking for child care. Because I'm definitely going to have to go back to work. Once he's born. But I don't know if I want to put him in a daycare. I would rather like find a stay at home mom. That would watch him. Or like a nanny. Or something like that. So I'm still looking into that. Seeing what I'm going to do as far as child care. And things like that. Because I'm not really sure yet. Oh yeah, so at the end of this video, I'm going to put in a clip of my baby shower invite. Super cute. I love it. 
And instead of um, bringing cards with your gift, I tell everyone to bring a book. So I have this little poem. Oh, and it says, let's build a library for Carter. A card is nice, a sentiment is sweet, but a book will keep Carter on his feet. For years to come, he will read. Longing for stories will never be a need. A shelf full of wisdom for all to give, for Carter to keep as long as he shall live. Filling the shelf should not be hard if you would please sign a book instead of a card. And it looks like that. And I'm going to make it pretty and cut it and put it in all my invitations. So he'll have books. You know, something more useful than like cards that people... I mean, you can keep them forever, but what's better than a book, right? So he's going to have a book instead of cards. And that is all. I'm going to do my baby haul video after this. And I'll show you, like, all the stuff I got for him, the crib that you see behind me, um, all the clothes, I got millions of things for him. So I'm going to show you that um, in a separate video. And the door show. that's about it. So I'm going to show you my belly. The door ain't showing. I got her. This is my belly from the side. This is my belly. From the front. He's actually moving right now. Maybe he'll deform. So this is my belly. Forward. This is my belly. Sideways. And I'm gonna go ahead and measure. And I am currently about 38 I don't know if you can see it underneath but right at 38 so I gained about the inch and a half in my belly and that is everything so thank you guys for watching and have great holidays and I'm gonna do the baby haul video after this and if you haven't seen my pregnancy video make sure that you watch that Okay, bye.